Hello nerds and welcome to season two, episode two of Arcane. I didn't say the title of the last one and the titles are very important for these episodes that we jump into because it just, it, it's it, it's a dead ringer every single time. So the title for this one is Watch It All Burn. Um, we are experiencing rotten destruction of Piltover above ground and below ground. We haven't seen Jinx yet, so I think this is the episode where we're going to be catching up with her. I'm hoping we're going to see Echo and, and like, the, the other side of our characters. So, I love your face. Don't forget to subscribe. Become a member if you haven't already. Let's just jump right into it. Well, it's all going to shit. Yes, Jinx. Kim Baron's warning. She's the little mermaid. Except this time. How could someone put all those holes in you? Oh yeah, how could you put all how could you turn him into Swiss cheese? I used to say I could fix anything. Yeah. Now it's so quiet. Aw. Do you do you guys think she and her sister will rekindle? At all? Well, he did say he loved the water, so, I mean... Have you had enough? It only suits that he'd be sent to the Fathoms, you know? It was a comfort spot for him. Oh, I was like, flashback? Oh, are all these his henchmen? Okay. Oh, yep. Deleted. And deleted. Ooh, I love how they're... And now it's just the three of them. Okay. So we have three cronies. Vying for power. But just fighting amongst themselves instead of uniting to stand strong and do something about the the above ground or just the mess they're in. So it's just going to get messier. And we talked about this last episode. However, I want to take a look at the fits because Okay, industry. Um So if he's dealing with the shimmer, his people are probably going to have like gas masks. I'm trying to prep myself for what faction is going to look like what. Um, and then we have bondage. We have dummy mommies. Yeah. Okay. So the wannabe cat women suits will be hers. Um... I guess the titans of industry for, uh, what would it be, like, industrial revolution, so the bowler hats, um, the gangsters, I don't know if it's gonna be, like, the angry little squirrel man, or, <laughs> what is he, like, he's not a raccoon, he's not a rat, he's got a, he's just got a weird head, I'm gonna call him a squirrel, <laughs> and then, I don't know, the, these guys could be warehouse dudes, but they're fighting each other for the throne or for the chair, the fancy chair. All those kids. Yeah, get them, feral creature. Gas mask, okay. Why are the children so important? Like, labor? Because the adults are already addicted? He's gonna land on jeans. <laughs> and yes, I'm very well aware it could be a little girl. But for now, they're dead. Little dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, be scared. Get, get. Because you the know, in the moment, they could all. Boom. <laughs> Oh, that's her. Yep, that 
that's me. <laughs> you ever need a my card? Damn. Kids like yes. I want to be cursed. I'm okay with curses. The numbers oh my god. Shitter. Not exactly the term. You ever wonder why fat brains like you always wind up with a bunch like me? No. Uh, hey, uh, last count. Okay. Silco took it over with his bare teeth, but he also uh, weaponized the Shimmer to have other minions do his bidding. Jinx killed for him. Like, everybody killed for him. And he, he don't get me wrong, he got his hands dirty, his brother died, but he still sent everybody else to do, like, the big fighty power moves. Because he's the mastermind behind the operation. That... Uh, Mago had at least 10 hitters guarding it. So he'll have to use the Kalevans. <laughs> Little feral squirrel man. The gray. Oh. All the way up here. Oh, clear the place out. Might have made our job more, no less. Wait. Oh. You you go on ahead. Report back. Oh wait. No. Oh my god, if I say it right now, is it gonna ruin it for everybody? If I, I say what I wanna say, okay, I'm gonna hold on to it. I'm not gonna lose it. I'm not gonna forget. Oh, or should I just tell you? Okay, if you guys don't wanna hear this, it could be a spoiler. It's just like me, 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 big brain, okay? So just like do this until I do this, right? If you don't want to know, in three, two, earmuffs. So, um, Caitlin's key and her family legacy being the vents and calling back to season one, the gray, um, the people that live down there are used to an exposed limit of it versus the above grounders are not used to it at all. So if her family was responsible for the vents, for giving them semi-breathable air versus being completely choked out. She's wet. Oh. That's fucked. <laughs> that, is so, that is so fucked. Okay. An earmuff. Their eyes are burning. All of those dead people. We're dying. Whoa, is there a monster? Or is this a hallucination? Oh. I know you're all fantasizing about sawing each other's heads off. So I'm gonna oh, yeah. get right to it. These turf wars it's her have kink. to stop. These right is the real enemy. Us killing each other. Let's take notes. Because we're also thinking about there being a um there is an infiltration below ground and uh, and above ground so people are being turned against each other down below an infiltration at the catwalk is that what she said let's go back it doesn't suit you love you started this dance when you raided the rapture walk what could i want with your boulevard of filth top side is the real Rapture walk. Okay, okay, okay. If that comes up in the future. Enemy, us killing each other. Mm -hmm. Our best shot is to put aside these petty squabbles. Twitchy squirrel. And join forces. Is he dead? Why is he so quiet? He did a lot of spice. She's right. <laughs> we don't get topside off our backs. Hi. Hmm. Bird without a wing's just a funny looking rat. A bird with <laughs> missing <laughs> arm joke. Okay. Uh, it's the last offer you're gonna get. Last offer, huh? Something tells me she's not gonna take you up on it. Because she was pro turning in Jinx or killing Jinx. Getting rid of her. But I guess has changed respecting Silko's memory and the love he has for her. <laughs> Maybe if you make friends with Jinx, she can fix that army course. I can't believe you're dead, and I'm still mopping up your messes. Oh, jeez, lady, you crazy? <laughs> Talking to 
dead people. Well? You here to finish me off? Haven't I done you enough favors? <laughs> You're not gonna do it. Big baby couldn't do it himself. Mm-hmm. Couldn't do much himself. Mm. About mm -hmm. now, he'd have me all over the lanes, running his collections. And exploding his enemies. He was the mastermind. The hell are we supposed to do now? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, fuck his plans. He was a liar, anyways, right? She took it. What'd I tell you? Oh. I guess this kid's gonna stick around. Sky. Oh, he's awake. Oh, and he's gotta give birth to himself. Unless he's like a gelatinous cube. Nope. Ace Ventura birthing. Oh my god. Everything that was in the arcane. Wild. Victor? Mm-hmm. My God. Am I? Oh no, his voice you're, is different too. You're alive. Oh. You're alive. Oh, he's about to find out that he went back on his promise. And mad scientist his buddy. What? Okay, but I gotta look this up. Um, what color were his eyes beforehand? Um so I want to know if his eyes are a little different. So his eyes were like a pure gold before and correct me if I'm wrong, they're now like a blue goldy brown. So when I say gold, I mean also fucking brown. Like there's some speckles of brown there. I mean blue, fuck. Oh yeah, there's magic in his eyes. Okay. Wasn't going crazy. Even his staff. You've been born again, you're, my dude. You're alive. Yay. Oh, it morphed. The heck's but what if he's unkillable now? The notes from your leg recorded everything. I was supposed to die. Mm hmm You promised to destroy the hex core. No. You broke your promise. Don't you see? Kill this guy. Jess. Mm-hmm. She had such dreams. Oh. We've lost our way. I'm going to it's resign. Like a shepherd. Council. I understand. Together. Oh no, there's no more together. I must say goodbye to this place now. Goodbye. He's got a pilgrimage now. Victor, you're my partner. And he asked to die. Where are you going? He didn't ask to live. You made him a promise, didn't follow through, and now he's... <gasps> We're introducing people to the tree. There's so many of them. The soon. Got back, boy, the big tree. Risk. We're not turning. Throw in, throw in some years. smog and some fairies and it's burning gully. Of Silco. <laughs> he's such a cute Furby. Uh-oh. Why is the tree shimmered? Oh, this is quite troubling. Oh, that's the arcane. That tree means so much. The preservation, by golly, we'll God, find we'll it. find it. I... And now that Jace has not the stick of his ass of being someone important, uh, maybe <laughs> look at his mask. Oh my God, this is why we don't feed the gremlins after midnight. <laughs> He's living. Don't you oh. essentially own Little dude is living out a James Bond fantasy. Mission Possible. <laughs> oh my god. Shh. The has left the jungle. Uh, <laughs> you do realize old phrases don't work when you make them up on the spot. The Brambleback has left the jungle. You mean, <laughs> I mean, 
you guys ever seen the wild thornberries? Have you ever? Oh my god. I can't unsee that now. Uh oh. Humperdink is a friend, not food. And who's he? Why are you here after midnight? What's doing? This is my new pupil. Oh, awkward. Oh, pish posh, like you've never done it. <laughs> Were you sleeping here? Duh. Has he ever had tea? No, apparently not. You're right. It matches Fancy the water, it's dirty. Plants we tested with. Echo's home is a marvelous place. Oh, truly a wonder. You should see what. Uh, right. Uh, when I said home, cognitive center, which is certainly not a oh, physical no. location. Just stop talking, Humberdonk. But this pattern. How it's could it different. be there and here? How has it? Where's Victor? How has it manifested to other areas? If it's contained to Jace's lab? Um. Hold up. Did they make him Jesus? No. Put him around a lot of sick, a lot of people. Crazy pictures. Oh my god. There's so many religious. Victor. We hear Sky. We're following footprints in the. Not sand, but in the mug. And we've gained followers. The arm. Weird shape now. She jinxed it. <gasps> Vertically. It's the smack. Whoa. <gasps> oh. It's the strike team. And your sister's here. Fucking terrifying. I don't think she'll actually kill her sister. I don't think she can. She won't do it. And she didn't arm herself right away either. Come on, Jinx, get out of there. I'm high key rooting for everybody in all of their perspectives. Thus far. Air's all fucked. Distraction. Ooh, Caitlin. Caitlin's here to not miss. There's no way. Sorry, Commander. The big hand. Oh, Jinx. Well, kid. This isn't the worst thing to happen. You. You. I hate them. Oh, I hate them. Okay. Junkie squirrel. Fingers. You must wonder if Silco even saw that. Twice. Blubbering. <laughs> when he met me, and when I killed him. You? Wanna know the real kicker? <laughs> You're pretty close right now. You're the kind of guy who likes to get in close. Love. So cool. A team up I didn't know I needed. Yeah. Oh my god, she chinks the arm. Oh, the double tap. So seamless. Okay. So, the little plates on the arm, do we think that's a, um, like a counter of how many days we've gone without incident? I mean, Jinx, Jinx has a sense of humor, so... Oh. oh. Who threw the grenade? Kid? Is it the kid? Oh, 
It's the kid. <laughs> and the angry squirrel. A slot machine? With those fucked up Vegas? I mean, it probably smells the same. Oh, God. Nope. It, it, it's a wheel of chaos. Okay. <gasps> Rip his arm off. That is so cool. No. You already made your last your final deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The rabbit fucking squirrel's gonna die. Oh, what? In the fire fight? Tell me, who's a funny looking rat now? <laughs> oh, we're gonna jackpot? Oh, and the monkey? And fireworks. Amazing. 10 out of 10. No notes. Put that squirrel in a blender. <laughs> Haven't I done you enough favors? Ooh, line call back. For this. Something I could fix. Ooh. You got that look in your eye again. It's what are you planning? So many misunderstandings. To finish what's and not. Yeah, okay. There's no misunderstanding wanting to kill your sister, right? But still your sister. Sky. Really? Well. Y'all, he's Jesus now. You can't hurt him. He's got the power. N needs. I can't oh my god. You're... They're gonna kill the sick. Oh no. I've got the ick. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Come, my child. I believe you. Tell me I'm wrong. Please tell me I'm wrong. Oh, oh that's fucked. And he's dogma underneath that robe. Kendall. Oh my god. And now his eyes are magicked as well. And now he'll have loyal followers. You need not suffer anymore. Sky? Hmm. The wolf. Okay, so we're... Growing something. A double... A double heart? Oh, from a double wolf. What is he doing? What is he making? I need to know. I need to know. What is he making? What do we know of that is wolfy? And needs a, a a a a a double heart. What is he up to? Is this gonna be like a be a babeg? Is this a babeg? Speaking of babegs, with how my mind is working. Okay, so if they've Jesus, um, Victor. Um, Vincent, whatever. I keep throwing his name around and being wrong. Uh, if they're Jesusing him and his body is arcane, mostly all of his body is arcane, does that mean his arcane parts are not killable by people, but the arcane would have to cannibalize him again or take that power away? And if his face is human, and he still bleeds, he can die, because if it bleeds, it can die. Um, so would that be his one weak spot? The tree being infected, is it an infection or is it a mutation? Does the tree start to die? Does it start to give extra magical benefits? Hey, Bubba. Hi, boo. Um, I can't believe they jesus him, though. That's wild. And honestly, okay, so Caitlin's face and watching her, like, break more and more in her grief. Um, 
and the when when she's like we never asked for this there there's no sense to it when Vi was like we can't fight them on their turf just the the micro expressions and then seeing her expressions as she's so resolute to see Jinx and every every time she aims down the barrel she's looking for Jinx because she refuses to not pull the trigger because when she hasn't pulled the trigger bad things happen and we saw Powder die on that bridge well like she fought Echo and it was the last moment we got to see any glimmer of them from when they were children and that's when Powder died so we've had Jinx ever since and regardless of whether or not it's jinx or powder there have just been so many bad things that have happened so many misunderstandings that have led to like these huge blowouts and so many lives are just so fucked because of it like weaponizing the vent system chemical warfare well it's it's time to jump into episode three i i can't stop I part of me is glad that they're doing it in um pieces of three because otherwise I would not be doing the basic care lunch who needs that Mm -mm. so uh we're gonna get into episode three and then um have to wait so patiently until next week I can't believe it I love you guys thank you so much for supporting the channel I love your face and I'll see you next episode bye